different video because my dad is going to be helping me transfer my Minecraft world. So Jake got a new tablet for Christmas, but can't play his old Minecraft worlds on his new tablet. So we're going to transfer the worlds from his old tablet to his new tablet. There are videos out there on YouTube that describe how to move the worlds from an old tablet to a new tablet using uh, external, the external storage through the, uh, through the Minecraft application, but we did not know that beforehand, so our worlds are stuck in the application and we can't get them into the uh, external storage. Of note, we have two Android tablets, uh, so we're transferring from an old Android tablet to a new Android tablet. So you start off by bringing up Minecraft on both of your tablets, like so. So start off with the old tablet, you wanna hit play. That'll bring up a list of your old worlds. So when we are doing this transfer, it is through the realms portion of the Minecraft app. And at the top there where it says realms, if you haven't already signed up for the tr free trial, there'll be an option there to sign up for realms and they do a 30 day free trial and then after that it's $7.99 a month but the 30 day free trial should be enough to get your worlds transferred. So what you wanna do is, is pick the world that you're going to transfer. So in this one, we are going to pick the world and hit the edit button there. Mm -hmm. And it takes a second for it to come up. So the world will come up, the edit where you can change the name and so on and so forth. But what you wanna do is pick play on realm and that will load the world. Oh, you'll have an option first here. So you'll select the top option. And that's the realm that you created. So if you already have a world on there, which we've already done this a couple times, so there's already a world there. You can only do one at a time. So if there's a world there, it'll say, do you want to remove your current world and, and replace it with the one that you're trying to put up there? Just hit confirm. And that will take a little bit of time for it to load the world. We'll come back after that's done. We have noticed that for pretty much everyone will get an error. This one says we couldn't confirm if your world uploaded properly. This one, typically uh, the world will have uploaded. So just hit okay. Then get back out of that. And then you can open up that one under realms and it'll take a minute to load and confirm that it is indeed the world that you wanna transfer. Okay, so it took a minute or two for it to load, but now this is indeed the world that we are looking to transfer to the new tablet. So we have confirmed that. So now we can go ahead and hit the pause button and that'll just close that world. We'll hit save and quit. And that'll just take a minute as well. Okay, so that's saved and we're back to this screen here on the old tablet. So now we're going to move to the new tablet so hit play and it's fetching realms. So up at the top there where it says realms, you have the, the world. So you can go ahead and click on it to make sure that the world is indeed the world that you, want to, that you wanted to transfer. And this will also take a minute for it to get onto the new tablet. We'll come back after that's done. So now this is the new tablet and we've confirmed that this is indeed the world that we wanted to move. And our young Minecraft friend here mm -hmm. said that you may need to be signed into Minecraft in order for this to work. Um, so you can figure out if that's needed or not, but we are, he has a gamer tag for Minecraft and this is working just fine. So, so we've now confirmed that that is the world. It is on the new tablet now. So we'll go ahead and hit the pause button. and save and quit and then it'll come back to that list of worlds here in just a second and now we will download that world onto the new tablet because where it showed up there it was just in the realms so now we're actually going to download it so you hit the edit button there So now we're in the screen where we can edit the world name and then we'll actually download it to the new tablet. So we're gonna go ahead and change the name of the world. 
to the original name. And changing it to the original name will just help you keep track of which worlds you have and haven't transferred yet. Okay, so the name is now changed and now we just scroll down towards the bottom and it says download, replace and reset. So you go ahead and download the world. Sometimes you have to click it a couple times. And now it's initializing the download and we'll come back after that's done. So the download is done and obviously it will depend on the size of the world that you've done. So we'll hit let's go. And we'll go back to the list of worlds. And because we hit the download now button a couple times, uh, it actually downloaded two versions of it and you can just get rid of one. But now you can see that it is indeed on the worlds list on the new tablet. So let's go ahead and delete one of the extra copies of it just by hitting the edit button. And now we're down to one. And you can also delete the copy bit at the end if you don't want that there. So Jake will show you how to do that. And that's simply going into the edit. And where you change the name, just get rid of the copy and then hit back. And there it is. Okay, so we changed the name. And now we're just going to open it up on the new tablet just to make sure that it did transfer. Click on it and it'll take a minute to load. So this is now that world that was on the old tablet and is now on the new one and available to be played. So we'll go ahead and hit the pause button. And one thing and save and quit. And one thing that you want to do, I forgot to mention it earlier in the video, is the whole application versus external storage. And we'll show you where that's at here. So we'll get out of the world list and go into settings, go into, once this comes up, profile, and then scroll down about halfway. And there it says file storage location. You want to make sure that that is external so that you don't have to go through this process again. Uh, there are other videos out there on YouTube that describe how to transfer world from one uh, device to another using the external storage. And I'll let those videos uh, lead you through that process. So, uh, so that is how you transfer a world using the realms from an old tablet to a new tablet. So now once you confirm your external storage, just go back, click back to the main screen and that's where you'll uh, do the rest of your work for the rest of your uh, world. Okay, so now we're going to work on moving the rest of our worlds and hopefully you have success moving yours. And now that we've been able to move the world, our Minecraft player is pretty happy. And also let us know down in the comments if this worked for you and any suggestions to other viewers down in the comments. So yeah, peace out.